Hi all, welcome to Die.3D Tech YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe this channel so that you can see more RC related videos in future updates you will get notification. Today's video will see how to make a slow fly delta. Um, actually it is originally designed by Gary L. Jones. Um, okay, so it's a huge plane. So that's the reason. Um, I made it into three parts okay so here you can see uh, there are three pieces you can see there are three pieces so because of uh, the size size uh, size of this plane is like uh, 40 inches width and 30 inches uh, 32 inches height so it is long so I don't have a th that much big foam sheet so what I did I made it into three sections okay actually it is uh, this big so let's see like that okay it is too big so it's like uh, 40 inch width and uh, 32.5 inches height so what I did I cut into three parts okay so I will leave the plans in uh, description so you can see uh, so that 40 inches I cut into three pieces you can see each piece is like 13.25 uh, inches so it's like the three pieces so it is like um, 30.75 something like that it will come so so each piece is same so it is same so what I will I will glue it after I made the marks I will cut it because uh, why I made it into three parts means this plane will have little dihedral okay so it's a dihedral plane because of uh, that I cut into three parts so it will be easy for me to glue it like this little bit little bit dihedral will be there so something like this okay. it's a huge so I can't cover the entire uh, area hope you understand okay so this is the main part so uh, this piece is for vertical stabilizer and for rudder so these marks for cutting for rudder okay so these three are for the bottom of the wing so one will be like this another one will be like this so this is the center one and these two are side one okay so these are the three total four pieces okay so first what I will do is I will stick it with um, tape then I'll put the marks then I will cut it okay uh, I made everything together with a uh, tape so for temporary after that what I did is I made a mark from here to here it is like 4.5 inches then I draw a line so this is for the control surfaces uh, so I have drawn like this after that I made one more mark here you can see there is another mark so from here to here it is 2 inch so you give 2 inch gap from here to here so from uh, this 2 inches one it will directly go and connect like this same way I have made here also from here to here 4.5 inches then again two inches one mark from there it will go and it will connect like so that is how we can make the shape from here to here okay so like this so now what I will do I will make a mark from here to there okay so uh, before we make uh, lines uh, from here to here what we need we need two marks CG so CG is from here to here it is 15.75 inches so now what I did uh, from here to here two inches one mark from there you can connect to a center same way from here to here so now what I can do is I can cut it then I can attach all these three pieces into one so while attaching I will do a little bit of dihedro okay so I will do that and then I'll be back okay so I have done cutting uh, based on the uh, cross line so uh, this line by mistake I have drawn you can uh, you know, ignore it so now uh, 
the shape is ready so now what we need to do the whole hot glue hot glue gun is uh, heating up now so now we need to give dihedro this is where we will join all these three parts so it's very simple so for the dihedro what i did is i just taken one piece of foam it is like uh, five centimeters and so this i will use it as a reference so so what i will do is so uh, i will apply glue here i will apply glue here then i will keep this in the end so that that angle will be same so the uh, same thing i will uh, do other side also it's very simple just add the glue and take this as a reference for the angle okay that's it so i will glue it then i'll be back So uh, it is ready now, like both sides uh, attached. So we can see nice dihedro, both sides. Okay. So now what I'll do? Uh, these control surfaces I'll cut now only because uh, now it will be easy. I will cut and I will add tape, so it will be easy and I will also do a small cut for motor uh, prop section, I will do that also then I will be back. So now you can cut a slot for a prop and motor, so I am planning to use around 10 inches prop, so I will take this as a measure and uh, I'll just put some marks and cut. So give a little extra. Okay. So give around space like um, give it a little more. Maybe four mm. If you want later, you can. Uh, that. So, just I'm giving four mm. Right. So here also. Four. I will cut this slot then I will be back. So now we need to place the bottom portion. So this is the center piece. So it will come here. So here what we need to do is uh, uh, we need to mark where this prop is coming. Then we need to cut. So maybe more okay so this is where the prop will come so uh, we have to cut uh, this much area for the prop okay so i will cut that then i'll do so now i will uh, glue this part in the bottom like this 
Okay. Uh, now, uh, same way we need to attach both sides uh, here, you can see, so, here one and uh, here one, okay. So, now it is ready, both sides uh, installed. Here you can see install this excess portion. Uh, we can cut it later. So now uh, uh, earlier videos I showed this vertical stabilizer with the rudder. So I have done cutting. I did the same 40 this angle cut. So this just we need to place it here on top of this. So left. So try to match uh, this and with this like okay. So uh, airframe is ready now, you can see completely, just we need to put some electronics on it, then it is ready for flight. So this plane is ready, so I am installing motor mount. So um, for that I am taking this uh, foam block just for supporting for motor. So, um, so this is the motor I am using, uh, this is Odin 1200 kb motor and uh, 8 inch prop on it, slow 5 uh, prop on it. So, so I will place it like this. So, first I will glue this one, then I will place. So, I will give enough uh, place for prop, even if I change also, it won't touch. Okay, so like this, I will install. So now I will install control horn for all the surfaces. So uh, I am using this uh, control horn for control surfaces uh, and I will put small screw on it so that uh, it is kind of like an extra grip. my technique it's up to you okay so now i will place control horn for three control surfaces one two three three control surfaces. Okay. so now i will install uh, push rods uh, to the servo so push rods is like a normal wire that you can get it easily in uh, hardware stores so this wire you can make it like a z band so z band uh, will go to that uh, uh, control horn side uh, other end it will go to the uh, servo end okay so i will install servos uh, push rods So now uh, all the servos are installed but uh, this is not tightened means uh, it's not uh, fixed because that we need to do it only after connection to the radio so that we come to know the initial position when we connect the radio. So here I am using this uh, extension cable for the servos and all so that I, it can reach from here to receiver. So I will connect that then I will connect to a receiver okay so I am using fly sky so as i said it is the three uh, four channel one so uh, i'm using this avalon mix so 
वन अंड टू कनेक्टेड दीज टू दीज कंट्रोल सर्फेस दिस अंड दिस विल बी कनेक्टेड टू वन अंड टू अंड इट विल बी यूज एवलॉन मिक्स सो वन अंड टू विल बी कनेक्टेड टू दिस टू कंट्रोल सर्फेस then uh, channel 3 is connected to esc then channel 4 is connected to the rudder uh, this one connected to rudder okay so i will connect that then we can see so servos i connected now let's power up and see the initial position of uh, these control surfaces so i'm powering up so you can see uh, only this one is affecting only this one is affecting and you can see this initial position so because it is in uh, it is not in avalon mix uh, avalon mix so that's why it is moving individually okay so i will change that here so at present i will on mix you can see it is off and it is taking one and two channels if you want you can change the channels but i am using one and two let it be so i will switch it on okay. now let's see okay. so now you can see so when i say down both should go up when i say left one should go up one should go down but here what happened it is happening when i am doing up and down this left and right is uh, movement is happening when i am doing left right and left so this up and down movement is happening so one of the channel is uh, need to invert so that we can do now so let me show you one more time so here one of the channel is uh, inverted so when i say like this bow should go up okay when i say like this bow should go down but here what happening so it's happening left and right movement okay then when i say left and right it is going up and down so these two things should be changed okay so that can be done Uh, by shuff, uh, by inverting one of the channels so let's uh, do that one so let's invert this channel one and see so now it's fine you can see it's going up and down okay so uh, it's fine now so now Uh, we need to tighten the uh, initial uh, these rods for the initial position so i will do that so keep it like this then tighten this one. so you can see here make sure it is level then tighten this one. So now all control uh, push rods in the, and all it is adjusted properly. Now we need to work on a motor direction. So uh, let's connect uh, this ESC here and uh, motor. And when you check the prop, uh, so check it here. It's a little close. So see. so uh the prop direction should be this way okay with the front way 
okay. So the direction should be this. This area should be facing this side. Okay. Now, even it is a push up, so we need to uh, place the direction this side. Okay. So now let's check the uh, direction of the rotation, rotation of the motor. So let's connect here. So I will switch on. And uh, I'll connect this to here. So just see, give a little bit of throttle. Okay, so the direction of the prop is correct only. So no need to change anything. In case if it is reversed, just change any uh, two of these wires swap then it will be fine so now we can see control horns rudder okay like this so now we need to put some velcro for battery then tidy up these wires with some tape so that it won't touch the prop so i will do that then so uh, I arranged everything, so wires and all uh, came here, receiver here and uh, ESC I pressed and uh, for the battery I added a velcro here, so it's ready. So I will take it out uh, for flying and I will see how it is flying. So uh, I did some uh, glide test um, yeah. in backyard, there is some empty space, so there I tried. So there I noticed it is too much uh, nose heavy. So again that is difficult when I try to throw just it is falling like a rock. So then I came back then I changed the motor mount from here to here. So that one modification I did and uh, <coughs> so I am going to test this uh, plane in very congested place and it is kind of like a challenging one because it is having some coconut trees so I need to fly in that particular area because uh, lockdown I can't go out. So I just want to try how uh, it is flying. So that's why there is an empty space um, behind my house. So there I want to try it. So uh, due to lack of place, uh, I can't do you no know, regular flying. So that's why I just want to fly it like a vertical so that uh, I can maintain you know, um, in a small place I can do some flying. So that's why what I did, I did uh, fly. I'm going to fly with this uh, little up elevator, so little more. Okay, you can see here it is a little up. So I'm going to fly like this, <coughs> and uh, I'm placing battery here. Uh, this is just for this flight because I want to do it in a very congested place, and it's it is having some coconut trees, so I don't want to break my plane. That's why this time I'm uh, try uh, I'm placing this battery here. So that uh, I can do some vertical uh, things. So vertical flying, so that one thing I did. So once the lockdown is over, I will take this plane and uh, that time I will place the battery here and fly normal flying. So there you can see properly. So I will take it out and I will do test flight, okay, see in flying. <coughs> 